This is the quick tutorial for the Reese Stone Wall Estimation Tool. If you have a basic understanding of how a grading plan works and how to use a simple CAD program to draw the plan view of a wall, this tutorial is for you. This wall estimator allows the user to select a Reese Stone Wall product, draw a plan view of the wall, including grades, and automatically generate an elevation view, cross sections, and detailed quantities in a professional report. This tool is for preliminary feasibility and costing only and should not be used for bidding or construction. The design assumptions are very simple and do not take into account a number of other factors that may exist on your site, such as additional loading from other structures, handrails and fences, terracing, high water levels, etc. These elements may have a significant effect on the geogrid requirements, embedment requirements, or feasibility of the wall. Always have a professional engineer conduct a final design prior to bidding or construction. At ReeseyStone.com, the user can select resources and estimation tool from the options available. Once you are in the online estimation tool, you are given the option to register. If you register, you will be able to create full reports and save your projects in an online database for future reference or revisions. We highly recommend this. After registering, you will see two options at the top of the page labeled Advanced and Simple. The Advanced option allows you to draw your wall in plan view on the graph paper provided. The Simple option allows you to just enter any number of wall sections by inputting the length of wall and height for each. The limitation for the Simple mode is that it assumes the bottom of wall elevation remains constant and it does not produce a plan view of the wall for your report. The Advanced option allows you to draw your wall in plan view and attach top of wall and bottom of wall grades to various points along the length. In this example, we have a proposed wall as shown. You can see in the illustration that we have identified grades at the top and bottom of the wall at various points. Typically, you should include grade points or nodes at any corner, start of a curve or critical step down or step up in the wall. We will now transfer this information to our plan view. Let's estimate this example with the PISA 2 wall system. The total wall length is 45 feet, so we will pick the lot size or page size at 50 feet. Looking at our proposed wall sketch, we see that we require a total of 18 feet in the Y direction and 25 feet in the X direction. Based on this, we start drawing our wall at the 10 foot in the X axis and 20 feet in the Y axis so we don't run out of room. We left click on the start point and our first node is created. We can see that the line length is shown dynamically, so we pull the line without holding down the mouse button away from our start point, straight across the page for a distance of 10 feet. Here we click on the page and create the second grade point or node. You will notice that the length at that point is shown at the node, as well as the default top of wall and bottom of wall grade of 3 and 0. This is also shown in the table on the right. We will change the default values after we draw the wall. We continue to draw the rest of the wall, using the dynamic length and angle shown to ensure the proper layout. When we have created the final node, we right-click and select End Wall. If you are using a tablet without a right-click option, just select End Wall in the toolbar. After the wall is drawn, we can either left-click on the individual nodes, then right-click and select Set Grades to change the default values, or just edit them in the table. You can see below the graph paper that an elevation view is provided, which shows the basic wall layout as if you were standing in front of it. Next, we select the type of loading we will assume for the wall out of three options. The next option before estimation is called Gravity Drainage, and this only applies to walls that are gravity only, meaning they do not use GeoGrid for stability. Walls that are considered gravity only are noted in the product drop-down menu with an asterisk. The estimation assumptions are provided with the view icon for your reference. By selecting the Quick Estimate function, we can see that the estimation tool now creates an elevation view that shows our wall system, the embedded block, as well as the geogrid reinforcement required, which is shown in the solid dark red line. Quantities are shown below that. 
For a more comprehensive report, select Create Report. The option exists here for the report to include only the tallest cross-section or all cross-sections. We will select Report All Sections. A new tab is created which displays the report. All relevant information including wall system properties, wall plan and grading information, the elevation view, quantities and cross-sections are provided. You can now print this report to a printer or a PDF file. Going back to the estimation tool, we can now save this project for future reference. Editing the wall is simple. We can add nodes, delete nodes, or edit grades at any time. If the wall requires curves, we can use the Curve Line tool to create the appropriate layout. The Curve Line tool has some intelligence built into it to limit the minimum radius allowable based on the wall system you choose. You can see that if we switch to the River Crest system, which has a minimum radius of 3 feet, the Curve Line turns red when the radius we are drawing gets too tight. This is a simple yet effective way to ensure we are abiding by the limitations of the product we have chosen. The curve can be adjusted afterward by clicking on it and pulling it in or out as shown. We hope you enjoy using this powerful tool, but keep in mind that it is for preliminary costing and feasibility purposes only. Always retain an engineer to conduct a final design.